Hey, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another guide. This guide is going to be open to any class or any person that could use the information. And today we're going to talk about click to move. How do you click to move? So we're going to learn how to click to move in this video. I'm going to teach you all the ways that I know how to click to move and, and tips and tricks for it. So let's jump into it. Okay, so first off on starting how to click to move is that you need to actually enable click to move. So all you would do is just go into your settings. This is the old menu. So if you guys are using the new menu, just follow along. So you open up the settings, you go to interface settings, you go all the way down where it says mouse interface, and you enable click to move and you hit apply. Now you should be able to hit control and just start clicking and your character goes wherever your mouse clicks. A lot of people question, why is this important? Well, there's certain skills that you use that keep you in place like this one. And you could click to move to change the direction of the move that you're currently casting. Some classes could take advantage of it more than others. And yeah, I feel like every class should be able to click to move. There's certain classes that I know that have no use for this, but this is a general guide just for you guys to have in the back of your head. So moving on from the enabling of click to move, this is why you would like to have click to move. So you can change directional inputs of certain skills that have only singular directional inputs. As you see, I'm using almost everything that a Zerker has for click to move that basically changes the way how you move in the game. It's one tool that us Zerkers use a lot to actually navigate and actually win fights because our class is very linear and immobile which makes us very predictable so in order for us to not be predictable we use click to move a really good example of this would be lava piercer you see the angle right there of the running that is very uh, wide so if i want to do a turn i have to do a very wide turn but whenever i click to move it with my mouse i get 90 degree turns i could even do circles if i wanted to so the way how zerkers manage to uh, use click to move so effectively is that we use our palm to actually hit the control button. So like our fingers are on WASD and our palm is just laying flat on the, on the control button. So whenever we need to actually access click to move, we just palm it while still keeping our hands on the key binds. So let me enable edit UI. So another thing too about click to move that's really uh, valuable to learn is that whenever we use click to move, there are certain ways to cancel out of the click to move button. So like we have click to move enabled and I'm trying to get out of it. I'm trying to hit right click, I'm doing this, I'm hitting tab, um, I'm shifting. I, I can't get out of click to move. And this is really crazy because if I want to get out of click to move, all I got to do is just either hit control and it goes away Right, so hitting control enables it and hitting control deactivates it. Another way to quickly deactivate click to move is by hitting any directional. So if I hit W to go forward, the click to move goes away. You know, we could hit right click and go like this. You know, backwards, it goes away. Left, right, it goes away. So as long as you spam an input, it goes away. Another thing too is like a lot of Zerkers, we like to just... uh cancel everything with directionals another thing too you have to be very careful about is if you're already holding a directional while hitting click to move so like let's say i'm hitting w right i'm just walking forward i'm hitting click to move you see how i'm hitting w right now and it's my click to move does not go away which that might be a bad thing so what you got to do is you got to let go of the directional and input the directional again so if you're already previously holding a directional while clicking to move it does not go away so you have to re-input a directional. And that's basically the gist of uh, click to move. Another tip that we always mess up on on Zerkers is whenever we do uh, what's that called, giant leap backwards and we're clicking to move it, sometimes we hold the directional and we're just holding down back, which is kind of like a bad thing to do. And that's one thing that you always have to do. Sometimes we palm it and sometimes use directionals to uh, use click to move. 
So that's one way to quickly get into click to move. You're clicking and then directional, we cancel it. That's how we cancel that a lava piercer very quickly with click to move without hitting control. So it's it's your preference between hitting control and directional. So right there was a directional. Um, this one was a control. So it's basically your preference on what you want to cancel your click to move with. So yeah, there's two ways I commonly know. It's just control and directional to get rid of your uh, click to move. So another key thing about click to move is that whenever we're clicking to move, you always have to keep track of where your mouse is. So right now I'm fighting, right? And I'm trying to click to move, but I'm trying to click to move behind me. I can't because my mouse is on the left-hand side of the screen. So what a lot of Zerkers like to do is that they like to have a position zero for their, their, their mouse. And what I mean by position zero is a default position that most people or where you want to leave your mouse. So that means you don't have to guess where your mouse is at because you're just like, yeah, my default position of the mouse is going to be beneath my feet. So whenever I play Zerker, I like my mouse beneath my feet. So if I, if I don't know where my mouse is at, I assume that it's always beneath my character. That's where I like to leave my mouse all the time. So like, let's see, I'm fighting and I'm doing all this crazy stuff. And then I have my mouse over there. So it's to the left of my character. So I'm going to throw out a skill and then reposition my mouse for other clicks and moves in the future. So you got to use skills to like reposition your mouse in the middle of a fight. So usually like long moves that have super armor like Slugfest allows you to reposition your mouse. So you could get your frame of reference back to position zero. And the reason why position zero is so important is because sometimes you need a backwards motion behind your character. So you could change the input of the direction to an opposite direction of where you want to go. Example, um, what's that called? Giant leap. We go backwards. Also, uh, shooting mobility. We go backwards as well. But if you click behind us, we actually go forward. That motion. And the reason why is that these are very good gap closers, but they actually send us back. And the reason why we put our my my position zero behind my character is because it's a very good way to just instantly get a gap close because gap closing, you need to do it at a moment's notice. So you can't really much think about it. The click to move comes up, it goes away because I put it directional. Same thing right here, Lava Piercer. The only ones that I won't do, uh, what's that called, position zero for click to move is probably like Lava Piercer. That would mess up my position zero. But usually I always want to end my mouse back at position zero whenever I want to. So that's a very key tip about how to very seamlessly use click to move to your advantage is number one, use directionals to cancel your click to move. If you can't use directionals to cancel your click to move, just hit control. Number two, pick a position anywhere around your screen where you're very comfortable with that would actually serve you. For me, my position zero is going to be beneath my feet. So now I know if I don't know where my mouse is at, hey, guess what? I know it's beneath my character, so I could just use certain gap closes very, very quickly when, at a moment's notice. So yeah, click to move is very easy. Um, a lot of people get intimidated by it. It's really not like that hard to click to move. It's just everyone thinks like, wow, dude, you're clicking a lot, man. No, it's just, it's very learned. And as long as you keep by the certain rules of directionals cancel, click to move, um, control cancels click to move, and always pick in a position where you always leave your mouse defaulted so you're not just randomly clicking to Uganda and sending your character somewhere you don't want to. So yeah, always keep in mind position zero, directionals to cancel, or, or control to cancel click to move. You should actually just be able to basically click to move like a pro. I know certain skills require like very, very short timings when it comes to click to move, but it's all practice, right? Like I, me personally, I like to cancel beastly one slash with click to move. And that's just because like beastly one slash launches you forward. But like whenever you click to move it backwards, it's actually a safer skill because you're not actually engaging. You're kind of just keeping it neutral. So click, just mess around with click to move, man. You'll be surprised like how many little increments you should be able to like get with click to move. So just pick a position zero, directional to cancel, control to cancel, and you should be good. You should honestly be good.
And with that, you guys, that's the end of the guide. Very simple, very short, very sweet, and I hopefully um, you guys liked it. And feel free to subscribe or follow me on Twitch for uh, more Berserker videos. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for stopping by and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.